Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 15, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode I was sort of looking forward to, but also sort of not, because I was very scared about Lex Luthor and how he was going to be portrayed. As I voice on this channel, I'm not the biggest fan of Lex Luthor, and especially I didn't really like the idea of him coming to Supergirl, and I have to say I was very, very surprised and I was very happy to say that I really like Lex Luthor. I really like John Cryer's portrayal of the infamous villain from the Superman comics, and I really liked him, and I'm looking forward very much so to next episode due to him actually, you know, being in this episode, he's going to be in the next episode, and it was revealed he's going to be in the finale, so that's exciting, and I'm happy that he's not staying around for the whole rest of the season because I think, as you can see in the trailer for the next episode, if you check it out online, and I'll have my trailer breakdown out later today, Red Daughter is in the episode and she is officially working with Lex Luthor, which is so exciting, but the main exciting thing is to have Red Daughter as the main villain for the rest of the season because this episode did, you know, tie off a lot of these strings. They haven't officially tied off the sort of Agent Liberty stuff yet, but they tied off the Manchester Black stuff, which we'll talk about in just a moment. So yeah, it was a really good episode. I really liked it. And let's break it down bit by bit and talk about what happened. So at the end of the last episode, we had James and James was shot by a mystery person and everyone was having all these theories. Everyone kept on saying to me, it was Eve. Eve shot him. And I was like, you are crazy. You are absolutely nuts if you think Eve is working for Lex Luthor and Eve shot him. But it's true. Eve fucking shot James. Eve is working for Lex Luthor. That is freaking crazy. I love that twist. I really, really loved it because I was not expecting it. And when it happened, I just sort of just was there like my jaw was dropped to the ground. And let me know in the comments down below what was your reaction to that. I freaked out that was a really really great holy shit moment and so she shot james and she you know in that scene when it's revealed she shot one of the guards and the guy is back i forgot his name he supposedly died at the start of the season with his sister i have totally forgot his name i think his name was otis or something like that but yeah i really don't remember and all i can say is i'm not a fan of him so I think he's only going to be temporarily around when Lex is around, so I'm fine with that, but I forgot his name, that's how unimportant he was, and how, you know, he was bad, basically, but anyway, so this episode we had Lex Luthor come, and so, like I said, it all starts off with James getting shot, and then Supergirl finding James, but at the start of the episode, there is this flashback scene, so it's four years earlier, and we see Lex Luthor, for the very first time ever, on Supergirl, with a tied up Lena Luthor and so it's really exciting to see you know before Supergirl started or I guess around just the sort of start of season one when that would have been because you know we're on season four now so we're in our fourth year so yeah I guess it's just a bit before season one started so Supergirl didn't exist at that point you know Kara was obviously there but she wasn't Supergirl by then and so He's trying to change the world, and it's, you, as you can see outside, it's all red. That's because he's somehow created this red sun, or, you know, he's created, made our sun actually turn into a red sun somehow. They don't explain that, but that's unimportant. And so he wants to see if, you know, Superman can bleed, essentially. And so, then we cut, and we go to Lex as he arrives at Lena's mansion, and he's transported by a helicopter as he supposedly had a stroke. But it was just his way to get there and to get to Lena to obviously make her push forward on her Haranel test trials and it officially works and he's been toying with everything like behind the scenes you don't realize until you watch the episode and next episode apparently it's tons of flashbacks along with obviously the Red Daughter stuff but yeah that's going to be amazing I cannot wait for next episode because we've been waiting for Red Daughter for so long and the idea we're going to see flashbacks to, you know, things we've seen in the past on Supergirl is very, very exciting to me. Maybe we'll see some returning characters, like some different angles of some scenes that they shot in the past, which will be very exciting. 
and so James actually is saved by Lena as they officially use the Haranel for the first time, and so you see his wound healing, and you know, he's got like his black veins and stuff, so, oh my god, is James going to turn into, you know, an essentially a metahuman, which I think is a bit crazy to think that, you know, in this world they're like, oh, you know, how can people become metahumans, this is so weird. Well, before we've seen Livewire, she's not an alien, and we saw Silver Banshee, she's not an alien either. So, again, that's just a little bit of an error, but that's not too bad. And so, I believe that James may show signs of getting powers later in the season, and I think that's something interesting to go down. But like I said at the start of this video, what I teased, there is some tying of loose ends that has just been done. So, Manchester Black is officially dead. He's officially killed by Jean, and... I really like Manchester, I like him a lot, but I was sort of getting a bit bored of him, and I'm so happy that they sort of did it in this way that will influence John like, throughout the rest of the season, and so I thought that was a really kind of major moment in this episode that I really liked, and it's, you know, a big death, because he's been a massive character since the start of the season, so that's exciting to see. Now they just have to tie off the stuff with Agent Liberty, which I'm sure they will do in the next few episodes or so. So we have Red Daughter taking over and obviously Lex pulling a lot of the strings. So, there is at one point in the episode, you know, we get these various scenes in the hospital and so, you know, it's with everyone surrounding James and everyone sort of breaking down, but Brainy breaks down at one point and, they, and he kisses Nia. So that's a big moment, we've all been expecting that for a long time and, you know, he essentially breaks up with her or like says oh this is not gonna work and so then we see Nia she's sort of smirking because she knows it's just like him you know on a mood swing or whatever and so this is gonna happen we know it's gonna happen surely and so Lex Luthor and Lena work together throughout the episode like I said perfecting the Haranel perfecting the cure and like I said by the end of the episode it officially works and so Lex, apparently, as it's revealed later in the episode, he turned off all the power in the city. We thought it was, like, the water down, we thought it was Manchester, and it's revealed that it was Lex. And Lex did that to turn off the power in the hospital, mainly, so Lena would test it, so, she, so he could actually see if it worked or not, and it officially worked, and then Lex Luthor actually used it on himself. Oh my god, he used it on himself, he's cured now and he's probably going to get powers at some point and I'm guessing is going to be very similar to James and so he essentially used James as sort of like a ragdoll because he made Eve actually shoot James which is crazy and that's how Eve or this gun person actually got in and shot him from behind because Eve works there or Eve used to work there and so that's crazy and the revelation of Eve being you know on the bad side is utterly fascinating because she's been working for Cat Grant all this time like has it been Lex Luthor just toying things and playing things out throughout like season two all the way up to season four now and like how Eve has just been kind of this really nice person that's popped up every now and again you see her you know working at Catco and then officially this season we got the reveal or just at the end of last season she's a scientist she knows her stuff and that's a bit suspicious and you know, people have been theorizing about, you know, what she's actually doing, why she can actually help Lena, and it's revealed in this episode that she is officially working with Lex Luthor. She has been all the time, she reveals, which is just utterly crazy, and by the end of the episode, Lex Luthor escapes, and he's free, and he's able to walk, and he's going to cause chaos, and so next episode is going to be his last episode before the finale, so next episode is episode 16, so we have... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 episodes, so we have seven episodes left, including next week, so he's going to be around, you know, for two of the five episodes, so he's definitely going to be pulling those strings, and at the end of the episode, we see Supergirl, she flies into the sky, I have no idea how she found him, maybe, you know, Lena clicked a button on one of her watches or something, I have no idea, but somehow Supergirl found out about Lex and they are face to face for the very, very first time, which is very exciting. I liked how they ended the episode and so 
Also, another thing in the episode, James's sister actually arrived. She's apparently going to be a series regular next season, which is interesting. I don't know what she's going to bring. Lots of people have been theorizing that she's going to be a new love interest for Alex. I think that would be interesting. This episode, she didn't get much time, and she didn't do much apart from a few talks with Alex and some various different team members of Team Supergirl. So, she didn't have much time to shine, but I'm sure she's going to be good. And so, this episode was really good, and it really really amazingly set up next episode so you know red daughter's going to come in she's going to be officially the bad guy but you know lex is working with her essentially and so supergirl is going to meet red daughter even next episode but most definitely the episode after as we talked about in yesterday's synopsis video so thank you guys so much for watching this video i really really liked this episode i thought lex was really good and i really loved the Eve twist at the end and also you know how he's been sort of weaving things in throughout the whole time and we've got the mystery of obviously James is he going to get powers is Lex going to get powers from the horror now are they invincible now which you would guess they are because it worked on them so that's going to be tough to actually tell James what happens because Lena actually said Supergirl saved you and so the final thing, Jean killed Manchester Black. I really like that moment and it sets up what's to come forward. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.